So, you want to play a death knight, huh? You do know that it's a lonely road paved with the bones of your friends, family, and loved ones, right? Oh, oh, you do? Then great, let's go! After you create your character, you'll find yourself in Acorus, the Ebon Hold. And the very first person you get to talk to is the big guy himself, the Lich King Arthas. It turns out, rather than starting out opposed to the Scourge, you're its new champion. With three exciting talent trees to explore and a host of powerful new spells, the Death Knight really does look like the hero class Blizzard has been promising us. But a newly minted Death Knight shouldn't have to hoof it all over the Eastern Kingdoms. Right at level 55, you get a quest that rewards you with the ability to summon a Death Charger, an epic amount available only to Death Knights. The Death Knight starting zones are actually a series of instances that allow you to literally destroy and take over the towns. As you progress through the storyline, this once bustling area will become a ghoul-infested hellscape of fire, brimstone, and general misery. The whole storyline culminates in a massive, epic, game-changing battle that... Oh, oh wait, I'm being told that this information should fall under a spoiler alert warning. So, if you don't want to know that the battle for Light's Hope Cathedral involves 10,000 Scourge ranged against the forces of the Argent Dawn, or that it ends in defeat for the Lich King, or that Tyrion Forgering cleanses the corrupted Ashbringer and brings the legendary sword back to the light, well, you should probably hold your ears closed and say la 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 la. There's no release date for Wrath of the Lich King yet, but we'll keep you updated with previews and other looks at the expansion as we work our way through the beta. But for now, the continent of Northrend awaits. I'll see you at Vengeance Landing. My task is done.